As seen from this image, all multicellular organisms begin their life after fertilization. Each kind of organism produces offspring of the same kind. However, the offspring differ from parents and siblings in appearances. We learned earlier that there are two kinds of cell division. One kind which we learned in the previous unit was taking place in somatic cells. Another kind of cell division takes place only in sex cells, called as gametes. Fertilization of the sex cells then produces an organism that starts growing and enlarging due to the division of somatic cells. The cell division that produces sex cells, such as a sperm cell and egg cell, is called meiosis. Meiosis results in reducing the chromosome number in the sex cells and secondly, producing variations in the populations. Alleles are characteristics of genes present in the chromosome. They share traits. Meiosis help to rearrange and remake the traits, this producing slight variation from parent to offspring. In meiosis, the gametes that are formed are past the number of the parental chromosomal before meiosis begins, all chromosomes are duplicated during interphase. Meiosis does divide the chromosome number by two. Meiosis is composed of two cell divisions, referred as meiosis 1 and 2. The somatic cell is referred as diploid. Gametes formed are haploid. After fertilization, the haploid gametes result in a diploid zygote. Meiosis takes place in sex organs, ovaries for female and testes for males. Even within a flower, there are male and female parts. In animals, both have multicellular diploid stage along with a haploid phase. There are three main kinds of categories for living organisms. Some have dominant multicellular diploid phase and only brief haploid stage. Human belongs in this. Some organisms have dominant haploid stage and brief diploid stage, such as the fungi and algae. While other organisms, mainly plants, have an alternation of generation in which the diploid stage produces spores. This is within a sporophyte of a plant. Spores then give rise to gametophytes within the plant that forms gametes. This is the haploid cell within the reproductive organisms. Fusion of these cells, such as a sperm and an egg, produces a zygote. Meiosis does reduce the chromosome number. Secondly, produces variation in species. Thirdly, fusion of sex cells restore parental chromosome number. As seen in the image here, the two chromosomes, blue and red, are shown to produce four genetic variations. In the next coming slides, we will understand these processes better. It is a very long stage, which has the same five distinct phases. However, chromosome well, activity is different. Homologous chromosomes bear, uh, pair up and segments are exchanged via a process called as crossing over. You can see that the chromosome blue has a segment of red in it and the chromosome that was the red pair has a piece of blue within. This is called as recombinant chromosome. Happening during prophase one. The rest of the stages such as the nuclear envelope breaking apart, spindle, formation starting and centrosomes moving towards op opposite poles still happen during prophase. In metaphase 1, homologous chromosomes align at the equatorial plate. However, notice homologous chromosomes are still in pairs. 
anaphase 1 homologous chromosome separates out and moves towards respective poles. However, notice that segments of chromosomes have been exchanged. At the end of anaphase 1, set of all duplicated chromosomes are present near each pole. The telophase 1 begins and the cytoplasm divides. The result are two cells, but they consist of two sister chromatids. In the second nuclear division, called as meiosis II, the sister chromatids of each chromosome will be separated from each other. Meiosis II is similar to what we learned in mitosis. Prophase II will separate out the sister chromatids. Two and telophase II will follow the same pattern and separate out the sister chromatids. At the end of telophase II, there are now four haploid cells with unduplicated chromosome in each. Phase two, the cytoplasm divides and results in four haploid cells. As seen in the image here, the four haploid cells have genetic variation and secondly have half the chromosome number. Fertilization of these haploid cells will result in a diploid zygote. Here is a summary of all the stages in meiosis as seen during interface. The chromosome starts appearing followed by pairing of the homologous chromosomes in prophase 1, followed by meiosis 1 and soon after telophase 1 and a brief cytokinesis, mitosis 2 follows up. Make sure to spend some time drawing these diagrams as this will help you to understand the difference between the two cell divisions. Summarize again, three events that are very unique to meiosis are listed here. Place during prophase. Secondly, a random alignment of chromosome also takes place during prophase one. Random fertilization of gametes help in producing variation of traits. In this slide, you can see the summary of events that takes place in comparison of mitosis and meiosis. Each event is summarized with key elements of each stage. Notice the outcomes of mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis results in two diploid cells at the end. Meiosis results in the four haploid cells at the end of meiosis.